Jeannie. Jeannie, you ready? Hey, we're going to be late for the ball game. <coughs> okay, let's... Is that how you dress to go to a ball game? Oh, no, Master. This is how I dress to be married. <laughs> well, who are you going to marry? Sandy Koufax? Uh, you, Master. Oh, now, Jeannie, we've been through all this before. I can't marry you. But you said you care for me. I do. I do. I think you're the most wonderful woman I've ever met. You're adorable. Well, then, there's no problem. We are gathered here today to join this man and this woman. Now, hold it, hold it, hold it. We're gathered here today to go to a baseball game. Jeannie, would you get rid of him? I, I don't have a ticket for him. If you care for me so much, why is it so difficult to say I do? Oh, it's not difficult. It's impossible. Well, Roger wishes to marry me. All right, fine. Then marry Roger. Now, wait a minute. Wait, Jeannie. Jeannie, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean that. Yeah, I was only joking. There's only one man I love. John. But you've told me that John doesn't want to marry you. That's why I've come to you. I need your advice, Mother. On the other hand, there is a man you do love, but who doesn't want to marry you. What am I going to do, Mother dear? Oh, yes. What are we going to do? Susan, you did the right thing to come to your mother. There's only one way to get him to propose to you. Tune in at the same time tomorrow and learn what Susan's mother advises her to do. <laughs> mother. Of course. This is a time when a girl needs her mother. <laughs> Mama! Little oh, doll! Oh, oh, darling, darling, oh, child. So good to see you again. Two thousand years and not one letter. Well, I, I have been busy. <laughs> Children. <laughs> Mama, I'm in love with my master and I wish to marry him. Can he support thee? What does he do for a living? He is an astronaut. An astronaut? What is that? Well, they strap him in this giant bird they call a missile and he goes up into the sky and around and around the earth for days without stopping. A and sometimes he walks in space. Thou could not marry a doctor? <laughs> Why, I am not in love with a doctor, Mama. Oh, I need your advice. My master does not want to marry me, but his friend Roger does. Then marry his friend Roger. You are not getting any younger. Well, I... I like Roger, but... You brought me back for advice. I will give it to thee. Tell this Roger... You are going to marry him. Oh, but that would be dishonest. Show me a woman who is honest, and I will show you an old maid. <laughs> Do not worry, dear one. Thou wilt not marry Roger. Your astronaut will come to his senses and marry you himself. Do you really think this will come to pass? That is how I got your father. 